The Ghana Accountability for Learning Outcomes Project is a five-year project with the objective to improve the quality of education in low-performing basic schools across the country. It is also to strengthen education sector equity and accountability in Ghana. Under the project, funds are disbursed based on the outcomes of the implementation. The Ministry of Education was expected to train 40,000 teachers in digital literacy to trigger the disbursement of $1.2 million under the project. It was sponsored by the World Bank. The Minister of Education has been accused of embezzling the funds. He denied the claims and said the money was intact. At the time that the project was about to come to an end, we have trained over 41,000 teachers. The World Bank then asked the development partners in Ghana to form a consortium and verify if the ministry has truly really done the work so that they can release the 1.2 million. The development partners then came, looked at the platform, verified the list of people on the platform, and came to the conclusion that the work has been done. They sent me a letter congratulating me for having met the benchmark that they set for us, and therefore wrote to the World Bank to release the 1.2 million so that we can use the 1.2 million to embark on the project that will improve teaching and learning in the Gallup schools. As I speak with you, the amount is sitting in our account, ready to be used for its intended purpose, buying furniture, buying teaching and learning materials, ensuring that in Gallup schools, everything that they need can be done using the 1.2 million. So if anybody is saying anything, well, all that I want to tell you is that the money was not intended for training. The training was to be supported by us. And once we can show that we have a skin in the game, that we are committed to the transformation of education in Gallup schools, then they will release the money, and that is what they have done. The good news is that the money is sitting in our account as I speak with you today. So ladies and gentlemen, of pray, nothing can be further from the truth that Dr. Yao said to you. Wars of pretend over a project that is not going to benefit Ghanaians. It will never be true. I will never do that. I didn't come to this country to do that. I came to help project the president and ensure that his vision for transformation of education is, is accomplished. Uh, he also responded to claims that the Ghana Education Service was not aware of such a facility. This is a huge organization and it's conceivable that he probably will not be aware but it doesn't mean GS as an agency is not aware. As I sit here as a minister, it can happen sometimes. Sometimes I go to London, and in the presentation, somebody will come, oh, I'm doing this project in Ghana, it's fantastic. And then they say, ah, Minister for Education, and I don't know, but you don't display your ignorance, you just sit there. and say, oh, thank you for serving Ghana, I'm so glad you came to Ghana, you're doing fantastic. Then you come back to inquire and ask your staff, is something going on? What is this project that this lady talked to me about in London? So it happens to me, and it can happen to Prophet Hukwamankwa. I don't think he meant any harm. All that he's saying is that I'm not aware. But Ghana Education Service teachers who were calling to a certain TV show yesterday will tell you that they are aware. 148,000 teachers have been trained on that platform. NTC platform has also trained 43,000 teachers. Ask my colleague teachers across the country and they will tell you they are on a platform, they are learning digital literacy. Dr. Yawadichum listed some of the projects the fund will be used for. We've done a budget that shows that, that you see the funding streams that are coming, some will come from this source, others will come from other resource link indicators. We are buying furniture for Gallup schools that don't have furniture. Because the point of the matter is this. You want to ensure that teachers are trained. And you go through all that. You want to ensure that you have textbooks in the classroom, which now publishers have signed a contract and it's going to hit our classroom. But students cannot be sitting on the floor. So furniture is one element that we're going to be using the money for to make sure that teachers in, uh, students in Gallup schools and teachers in Gallup schools have a place to sit. The Ministry of Education has the bank claims that it has embezzled $1.2 million coming out of the Gallup project. The minister says such accusations are untrue because the money is currently sitting in the account of the ministry. I am Kucho Achman reporting for City News.